Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be another fab or fail video. I have a couple products here that I have either bought or been sent that I've been testing out to review for you guys. So that is basically just all this video is going to be. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on these products, if I would suggest them and who I would recommend them for and that sort of thing. So we have some Maybelline Pixie by Petra, my makeup brush set, Benefit, Real Techniques. So why don't we go ahead and hop into it have here is probably one that was most recommended to review because a lot of people have been curious about this one. This was actually sent to me in a PR package from Benefit which I was super grateful for because I had never tried this product out. It is the Their Real Push-Up Liner. So this is what it looks like. I was really excited to try it but I hadn't really heard a lot about it. Once in a while I would see someone using it or talk about using it but nothing really like too in-depth. So I was excited when I got it. I don't like this product. I don't I don't like this at all. Okay, so I just took the cap off and then <laughs> this is what mine looks like right now. So my issue with this is that it doesn't work. And I don't know if maybe I just got a bad one, but I started to think about it. I was like, well, maybe it makes sense that I don't see people talking about this because if it's no good, then people don't usually talk about it. So what you're supposed to do is click it up and wait for some product to come out. So when I first got it and I saw this tip, I thought that was the eyeliner. And I was like, that's really cool, it's gonna make a really fierce line. That's not the eyeliner. You actually have to twist it up for the eyeliner to come out. Oh boy. This is just, I mean, this is just a disaster. So I was twisting it and like, yes, product came out, but like too much product came out, so that is no good. If I can like show you guys on my hand, let's see if I can do it. All it will continue to do is it comes off in like chunks and I'm like what like I would try to put it on my eyes and literally chunks of eyeliner would keep coming out and I was like okay I don't know I didn't understand it I didn't know if I got like a bad one I was very confused but it's $24 and I have not been able to use it yet because each time that I've tried to use it it's just been chunk after chunk after chunk on my eyes and so this one is not gonna work out for me. So unfortunately, like I think everything else that Benefit sent me was amazing and awesome and I love Benefit. I think they're a fantastic brand, but unfortunately their push-up liner was a fail for me. That was sent to me was from my makeup brush set and it is a set of makeup brushes. So what's interesting about these brushes is that they are really similar to the oval brushes or like the Artiste brushes. So this is what they all look like and they sent me the 10 piece black set. So all of the brushes are that type of style. And I was curious to try these out because honestly I, I don't I don't get these kind of brushes. I don't really understand damn them and I didn't know if they really worked. I was very confused about them and what I will say is that definitely like this has really been a nice foundation brush. It's not the biggest brush out of there and these aren't labeled so I can't say like this is brush so and so. They're, they don't have like labels to them but it's not the biggest brush of the group. Like this one is the biggest brush and honestly I just thought this was too big for my face. But this one I thought has been working out really well and I've been really liking it to apply foundation. It's very soft and it seems to spread everything very evenly but also very quickly. Like I, I didn't feel like there was any like mess around when using these brushes and I like the handles that they're, um, they're not super firm so when I'm like trying to get around to places like my finger can really do the guiding. So I ended up really really liking this brush and I also really like the brush that I've been using as a concealer brush which is this one right here so obviously it's a lot smaller but it, it fits in really well on the under eyes the only thing that I have an issue with is getting really really close to the lash line it's kind of hard to do it with that but realistically if I'm being very honest these are basically the only two brushes that I use out of them um, I don't like this big one because I think it's just too big for my face this one I've tried to apply blush with it and honestly I just thought it was awkward. I, I mean, I, I'm just being really honest here. I, I just felt very awkward applying my makeup with this type of brush. I did not try eyebrows. I know they say like you can do eyebrows with these brushes. I don't have like 
eyebrow powders or anything. I just have like pencils and stuff or gels. So I wasn't able to test that, but I tried with like eyeshadow too, like some of these brushes to like kind of pat and buff the eyeshadows and I didn't feel like they worked very well. I've seen some people use these type of brushes as like lip brushes. I don't use lip brushes a whole lot. So honestly, I really like the two that I use for the foundation and concealer. I like those a lot and I reach for them pretty frequently. But the other ones, I don't. I can buy the brushes individually on the My Makeup brush set, but honestly, I think buying a set would actually be cheaper. But, I mean, it's totally going to depend on your preference. I see some people that use these type of brushes for everything, and they use it for eyeshadow, and for blush, and they use it for bronzer, and I've seen people use it for the lips, and that's fantastic. But I just have to give you guys my honest feedback, and those two were the really the only two that I actually find myself reaching for. So, I don't know, I can leave the links below to my makeup brush set. They have a lot of different sets and they have a lot of different individual brushes and I think I might even have like a discount code with them too. It's not an affiliate code so I don't get anything if you use it, it's just there for you guys. But if you'd be interested, I can leave it down below. And while I think these are really fun and I'm, I'm glad that I have them in my collection if I wanna try out different techniques or things like that with them, then I'm glad that I have them. But really, I'm just finding myself reaching for those two. So another product that I wanted to talk about, I got a lot of questions about this one as well. It's from Pixie by Petra. It's their Glow Mist. So this is what it looks like. I picked mine up from Target. It was $15. And it says it's an all-over face mist for a glowing, luminous, and smooth complexion. It's enriched with 13 natural oils. You can use it before makeup to hydrate, protect, and nourish after makeup to set and add a dewy finish and protect or any time to refresh your makeup, hydrate, and add a glow. You're supposed to shake well before you use it. So, my thoughts on this is that it's expensive. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, I saw it at Target and I was like, oh cool, a new facial mist and it's supposed to be dewy at the same time. Like, that sounds like something I would like. And then I saw $15 and I was like, really? At Target? Like, for the drugstore? Hmm, that seems, that seems a little pricey, but I went ahead and did it anyways. You know, I have my red card, so let's say 5%. So I did it. What I will say about this is that it works. It does what it says that it's going to do. And I don't think that you can ask for much more than that out of a product. It makes your face glowy. It simply does. The first time I used it, I think I was used to like the MAC Fix Plus where I was just like ch -ch 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 -ch. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> like I was glowing. So you definitely need a light hand, which means this product will last a long time, which is good. Because what's also interesting about this is that I compared the price of this and how many fluid ounces you get it to two other sprays that I have. One being the MAC Fix Plus, which is the priciest at $23, but you're also getting 3.4 fluid ounces, where again, this was $15 and you're only getting 2.7 fluid ounces. I also compared that to the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, which I absolutely loved. I used it this morning. That is only seven dollars from Ulta and you get four fluid ounces so I mean I did the comparisons and I was like oh okay that's interesting but again this really does work I mean especially for making your face glowy it's called a glow mist that's what I think it does this I wouldn't say I think brings out any colors in anything but I do think it does help longevity of your makeup because I've used it I've used it quite a bit, and I don't feel like I have it all. I mean, I've been playing with it now, so I'm like shaking it up everywhere, but I've been trying to really test this out, especially in the summer and seeing what I think of it, and so far, I really like it, and I think it's doing what it says that it should be doing, which is the most important to me. Yes, I think it's, it's expensive, so maybe try to get like a coupon or use your red card at Target or something, but honestly, if it does what it says it's going to do, I'm impressed with it, so I'm going to give it a fab. Item from Maybelline that I want to go over is their new Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. So this is what they look like. I also picked mine up from Target, and it was in the shade Beige Luster. So these are their new Color Tattoo. They're supposed to be like a metallic eyeshadow for your eyes. They're supposed to be incredibly long lasting. So I picked mine up and it was $9.99, which again, I feel like we're getting a little bit pricey. The swatch didn't necessarily impress me. Uh, I have swatched it a few times and I have it on Instagram, but I can try to show you guys again here. The swatch didn't necessarily like blow me away or anything color wise. I thought it was very light and like even as I'm swatching it now, I'm like, is there anything even in there? So that is the swatch of it right there. So again, swatched on my hand, it did not impress me, but it stayed on my hand all throughout the night, all throughout volleyball, and then I came home and had to like really scrub my hand to get it off. So 
that impressed me. Then I put it on the eyes. It looks much better on the eyes than it does swatch on the hands. So if you swatch these and you don't think they're that impressive, try to put them on your eyes because it was a world of a difference. I will say that I think they are very long lasting. I like the color that it gave to the eyes. Like it, it definitely is like a metallic pop to the eyes, which I thought was really cool. I was worried about creasing because just looking at the formula of it when I swatched it, I was like, mm, is this going to be a creasy mess? And it definitely did crease. It wasn't anything that was super distracting or I was like, oh my gosh, my makeup looks so bad. But it does crease, which doesn't surprise me. But like I said, it's nothing crazy. I mean, I would still consider this long lasting. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my dog. She's just, usually she just lays down while I film and she's all over my office. So I'm sure her collar is making a considerable amount of noise. Just fantastic. I will say though that I did think it was long lasting the day that I wore it. I put it on at like 10 o'clock or something and didn't take it off until later that night and I still thought it looked good minus the little bits of creasing here and there. I also thought it was nice because I could apply eyeliner over it and it was pretty easy to do it. With this formula I was like I didn't know if it was going to be almost like glitter where it's kind of hard to get your eyeliner to smoothly go over it but I didn't have any troubles with it. I do wish it wasn't $9.99. I think that is a little expensive, but really cool color, cool concept, long lasting. I mean, I'm going to give it to it. I'll give it a fab. It was fun to play with. I don't know if I need any more shades, but it's fun to have at least one in my collection. Just a couple more products left. So another one from Maybelline is their Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. So I also have the foundation and I have the concealer from the Better Skin line. I love Maybelline's face products, foundations, concealers, powders. I've tried so many of them from so many of their different lines and I seem to love them all. I have Maybelline Fit Me foundation and concealer on right now. I use them all the time. So when I saw this powder come out, I was like, okay, I'm interested. And then I saw a lot of people reviewing it and saying how much they loved it. So I was like, I'm going to go buy it. So when you open it up, you do have a mirror, you have a sponge here, and then your powder over here. Now one thing I did not realize when I bought this, I just went to CVS and was like, yep, thank you so much. I got home and looked at my receipt. This is $10.99, <laughs> which I thought was kind of expensive for the drugstore too. Like, Drugstore prices are really getting up there guys like pretty soon Alta's just gonna be one big jumbled mess because no one's gonna know what's drugstore and what's high-end but I thought that was interesting and I really wish as the drugstore is charging us more and charging us more that they would let us test things that they would have testers out like can we please get some testers up in here because there's been several times that I've come home from the drugstore with products that have already been open and like tested and swatched and then I'm like well great that was a waste so that's one thing that I really hope is coming if it's not already like starting to come out but anyways back to this so their better skin line is made with salicylic acid which is supposed to be you know better for your skin so the whole point kind of behind this line is that it's supposed to be good for your skin which I was like Meh. Okay, really can't say if I think that it is and they I know that they do say that you're supposed to use it on a consistent basis of course and I don't really do that especially doing YouTube I'm constantly like trying new things or trying to show new things so I don't know if I can really say yes to that claim but I really do like the foundation the concealer isn't my absolute favorite because I think it creases quite a bit but the foundation I really do enjoy and then trying out this powder from day one that I tried it I was like okay I like this too it gives such a nice coverage to the skin and I I have been a big fan of the Maybelline Fit Me powder for many years now and I almost think that I like this better and that really is saying a lot because I love that Maybelline powder I recommend it all the time I truly don't know what it is about this powder that I think is so amazing but it looks so good on the skin and I really really like the coverage that it gives honestly it's not sometimes with powder foundations I can dust it on and then I'm like did I actually do, did I put anything on my face? Which is good, because you know, we always want to look like we're not wearing makeup, but then when it's like you put something on and you're like, no, actually, I don't see a difference. So that's confusing. Like, I do see a difference with this. So I honestly have been reaching for it a lot, 
a lot even days I don't always set my foundation because sometimes I don't think I need to especially if I'm just gonna be sitting here at the house and filming videos and not really going anywhere I don't always set my foundation but I keep finding myself like oh I'll just I'll just set my foundation real quick with this like no I don't need to but I'm still reaching for it so that is really cool the price I'm not super pumped about but I was actually just looking this up on Alta's website and Maybelline often has at Alta like buy one Maybelline get one 50% off or even buy one get one free, buy two get one 50% off, you know something. So I would suggest maybe buying it there where you can get a little bit of a break on the Maybelline products but yeah this one right now is a big fab in my book. Really been loving it. Talk about were mentioned in my recent makeup haul video. There are two brushes from Real Techniques. So I got these in a set from Octoly. If you haven't watched that video and you're a beauty influencer, I kind of go over the website Octoly and how to get products to review and mention in your videos and things like that. But I was set this set. It has these two brushes and then it also has the makeup sponge from Real Techniques, which is one of my favorites. I talk about that all the time. I don't feel like I need to put that in a review video because you guys should know I love it. So it came with the Expert Face Brush, which looks like this. It is very densely packed, and I was I was curious about this brush. I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to love it, but whatever. I'll give it a shot. I ended up really liking it. I'm not going to lie. Like, the first time I used it, I actually used it with the Maybelline powder. And I was putting it on. I think it was for a makeup tutorial. I was putting it on. I'm like, yeah, okay. This works. It's kind of smaller so I felt like I wasn't maybe covering as much area as I would with like say the Morphe E3 or even the Real Techniques blush brush which I use as like a blending brush quite a bit so I was kind of like yeah I don't I don't really know if it's doing anything but actually especially when I pair it with the Maybelline powder for packing on powder foundation it does a really really nice job and I was impressed with it so now every time that I go to reach for that Maybelline powder which is quite often, I'm reaching for this brush. This is the brush that I want to use to put powder foundation on my face. This has taken over the Morphe E3. That's what I used to always use with the, was the E3. Now the E3 has been relegated to uh, dusting away my baking powder. <laughs> the poor E3, the poor thing. But I, I was very pleasantly surprised. I did not think I was going to like this brush as much as I did. So again, it is the Expert Face Brush. Again, I got it in a set. I can leave the set listed down below. I believe you can get it at Ulta. So I will leave that set down below, but if you just want to pick up one brush, the Expert Face Brush, it's a fab. The brush that came in there was their Deluxe Concealer Brush. This was the brush that I was like, I'm going to love this brush, I just know it. And I was using it to set my under eye powder. And I'm, I'm very glad to say, that I thought I was going to love this brush, and I did end up loving this brush. Even the very first time I used it when I was filming the makeup tutorial, I believe it was my back to school tutorial, I was putting on the powder and I was like, yep, uh-huh, this was, this was one that I knew I was going to love, and I do. Definitely much smaller than some of the other brushes that I use, like the e.l.f. Small Tapered is one that I often use to put under eye powder on, and that is much, much bigger. So this is smaller, but I feel like it really is actually getting up in the areas and especially like under my lashes. Like I can really get up under there with this brush and I ended up really liking it. So this was one that didn't surprise me. I thought I was going to like it. I ended up really liking it. So again, if you want to get this individually, it's the Deluxe Concealer Brush, but I did look up the set. You can get it at Ulta. It's called the Ultimate Base Set. It comes with these two brushes that I just talked about, the Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is fantastic. It's the little orange beauty blender looking thing, and it also comes with a little case as well, like a little brush case with a mirror inside, and it is $17.99, which I think is a fantastic deal. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested in it, and I will try to find if you can get these brushes. I'm pretty sure you can get these brushes separately as well. I will link those down below as well, but the Real Techniques brushes got a fab from me. That's going to be everything for my latest fab or fail review video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know that you guys let me know a lot that you really want to see these review videos coming, so I will make sure I keep doing that. I have gotten to just make a list in my phone, so every time I buy a new product, I just make sure I put it in that list so I can remember once I get like, you know, five or six products or so, something like to make a good video. I will go ahead and keep recording these fab or fails. So I really hope you guys like them. I hope you found them helpful. Every product that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below as always if you want to check any of them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you are subscribed before you go and I will just catch you real soon in my next one. Bye!